Hello, today we will introduce the new CT6 a transmitter to you. Instructions for battery, locking, and automatic shutdown. These three functions are all very user-friendly in design. Instructions for using remote control batteries. Three types of batteries can be used. Snow batteries and RS lithium batteries, as well as E8650 batteries. Please pay attention to the positive and negative electrodes when installing the battery. E8650 battery positive electrode facing downwards place and cover. The remote control has a battery reverse protection function. When the remote control battery is low, the power indicator light flashes and alarms. Please replace the battery with a new one immediately. The remote control battery compartment is reserved with a RS or 2.54 terminal socket. Can directly use RS lithium batteries. Do not use lithium batteries with a voltage higher than RS. Next, let's take a look at the locking function. To prevent misoperation, the remote control can adjust the fine adjustment buttons and hybrid control buttons. Direction travel button, throttle travel button, channel forward and backward buttons for locking function. Next, let's take a look at the stats of the locking function. The remote control is in a shutdown state. Press and hold the forward and backward channel buttons first without releasing them. Simultaneously turn on the power switch of the remote control. At this point, the lock icon will be displayed on the panel. The opening closing methods of the locking function are the same. Next. Let's introduce the automatic shutdown function. The automatic shutdown function is to prevent forgetting to shut down the computer remote control without operation. Automatically shut down after 15 minutes. There will be a prompt tone 1 minute before the shutdown. 